Hi Miley, congratulations on being the new Viva Glam spokesmodel. Thank you very much. Um, I want to talk to you about your generation and their relationship to you know AIDS and HIV. When I grew up, it's something that at school, you know, we were very aware of. Yeah. We were, you know, there were classes and we were taught about it. But I feel it's how do you feel it's different now? I was talking to my mom about it and how she said, you know, there was such a paranoia when she was younger because no one knew what this epidemic was that was taking over kind of the world and, and um, so quickly and so many people's lives. So she was saying there was, you know, kind of such a, a moment of panic and that she was so aware. And then like everything, you know, it kind of, once the panic dies down, I think people forget of how important it is for, mm -hmm. you know, kids to be educated, for people to be, you know, making sure they're, they're taking care of themselves and checking themselves and um, bringing awareness and also supporting the people that their lives are being affected by it every single day. And um, I think it's important for me as someone that talks to so many young people all the time, being able to take advantage of the platform that I've been given. That's why Mac is so cool, because they, they do the same thing. It's so easy when you have everything to not want to give back in this way, but Mac just using their power for good versus kind of doing nothing with it. And, and um, so it was important for me, I think, to get involved with them. And when I first saw it, I thought, oh, Wow, that's like really, I mean, that's like a really, really poppy shade. Would you can put it on like either way. It doesn't have to be so, oh yeah, you don't even need a mirror. Wow, girl, go. See, but it's not that, it's like crazy. It's like, not I have that. on like 10 million layers. So you put on the lipstick and the gloss. I put on and, and the, gloss. the gloss, but that's just me. But I did the lipstick so like older girls can wear it, but then the younger girls can just do the gloss or you can do the gloss if you're going out. Like day, I think it's good to do that. And then is at night you can put on the gloss. Yeah, so. it's perfect. Is it, is it okay? Yeah, okay. and it feels good. It does feel good, but that those are, it's nice and creamy. And remember when I first saw the shade? That's what I said. It's what you said? I was, I was it's nice and creamy? That was my obsession where I kept getting like samples to try and I was like, it has to feel like more like like the way young lips feel. I'm like, because uh, I kept trying. My little sister was my guinea pig and then I would be the tester for you know my kind of age. But I was like, I just want it to not feel, I want it to feel like it's feels kind of natural and good. The but I also think, fun. you know, it's a shade that to me when I first saw it, I thought it was something that, you know, your godmother, Dolly Parton, mm -hmm. could wear. It's Bing, a very, it's a, it's a very color. kind of, so I think it's, yeah. a, it's a color for like everyone. I mean, not just know. like. Pink is my, pink is my signature color, so. Is it? Yeah. I mean, your ad as well is really stunning. Thanks. And it's all like bright and pink. And how much fun was it making that, shooting that? I was, that was another thing that I was really obsessive about was the creative of that. Because when I made the gloss, I thought, I was like, I want it to basically be if the lipstick got melted down and then somebody melted 10 billion disco balls into it, what it would be. I wanted to feel like disco pink lips and almost like I wanted to have kind of like a cyber vibe. So that's why it kind of has a little bit of the kind of like metallic -y feel to it too. You know what, I was very surprised. You don't have your own perfume. Like I everybody don't. has their perfume. Why don't you have your own, why don't you have your own perfume, Miley Cyrus? Only because I think when you start getting involved with too many big companies and corporations, they all of a sudden try to own your life. And I just don't want anyone to own my life but me. So I don't want to have to answer to anybody. That's the truth. And Mac, with the freedom that they have, they would never ask you to do that. So that's why I wanted to do it. They're like celebrating who people actually are, not trying to suppress people to be a certain way. Like when you're, just because you do something for somebody, if you do a perfume or whatever you do, you shouldn't be responsible for an entire company. You should only ever be responsible for your own life. So, you know, this kind of is the best thing for me because it's just about doing what my focus was this year, which was kind of get more involved in doing things that actually matter rather than just selling any lipstick. You just come across as someone really fearless to me. Yeah. But do you have moments where you just like think, oh, I, you have like a little confidence kind of, like most people, you know, the moment where, oh God, I don't feel confident today. And what do you do to Oh yeah, we go? were talking about that. It drives my mom crazy, like even before, because you look at photos of yourself. She's like, I did it my whole life. She's like, the whole time I was in my 20s, like I just felt like I was so not beautiful. All of a sudden she goes, now I look at photos of myself and I love it so much. She's like, so now I celebrate who I am now because we all do it and then we always, look at pictures of us back in the past and we love it but at that time we put so much pressure women have so much pressure it is so insane the amount of pressure we're put on in from the very beginning down to like physically emotionally the way that we feel for other people like are it's hard for us to not feel other people's pain it's like just being a woman can be so hard so adding more stress on yourself we do it so much we overthink everything so 
I definitely have moments where like I freak out. Like today, how I was freaking out about this huge pimple. Uh, right now, you're on my pimple side. So that's good. <laughs> um, that, but it was a lot worse last night. It, you know, put on the zit cream before I went to sleep. But it's that's kind of when I get into it. Cause I always had bad skin growing up, so I just kind of always still, even if no one else notices, I feel like everyone's always looking at it. But that's just your own like insecurity. Thank you very much. Yeah.